Number 10. Civil War Field Hospital The National Park Service has uncovered the grisly remains of a pair of soldiers dating back to the Civil War. They made the terrifying discovery inside a battlefield pit, once used by a surgeon to dump removed limbs after field surgery. According to the NPS, this is the first time that a surgeon's pit from a Civil War battlefield has been properly excavated. It's also the first time ever that actual bodies have been found in a pit that was supposed to have been used for amputated limbs. The excavated soldiers will be buried at the Arlington National Cemetery following examination, but there's not much that can be done for the 11 partial limbs that were found buried along with the bodies. So far, Archaeologists have been able to determine that the soldiers were probably killed during the Second Battle of Manassas, though no one has been able to properly identify them yet. Both were males, both between 25 and 34 years old. One died from a bullet through the upper thigh, while the other was found filled with buckshot. Both soldiers had likely been seen as beyond saving by the field surgeon, which is why they were dumped in the limb pit and forgotten. Number 9. Ancient Murder Mystery Archaeologists in China have discovered the body of a young man who had been stabbed to death and then left inside of a tunnel 1,300 years ago. Chinese archaeologists are calling this a very ancient murder mystery. They first came upon the mystery while excavating a tomb at the Xianzi Cemetery in the Ningxia region. There, the young man's body lay riddled with stab wounds. The team was able to estimate his age at around 25 and they believe that he was still alive when dumped into the tomb shaft and left to die. The murder itself took place around the year 640 AD. But even with all the archaeological evidence, what happened that led to this unfortunate man being stabbed at least 13 times in a violent assault remains a mystery. They even found that his arm was severely cut, suggesting he had been trying to cover his face during the attack. The tomb he was found in is from the East Han Dynasty, between 25 and 220 AD. The vertical shaft in which the body was discovered was part of a robber's tunnel. Grave robbers had been going down to raid the tomb. The best guess archaeologists have is that the murder victim came across their crime and tried to stop them. Then, to cover up what they were doing, the grave robbers killed the bystander and hid him inside the tomb. After they finished pillaging it, the thieves covered the entrance to the tunnel and left the bleeding man to suffer and die. Number 8. Mass Sacrifices 600 years ago in the northern coast of Peru, there was a terrifying massacre. Scientists now believe that at least 140 children, 3 adults, and 200 young llamas had their hearts removed during a massive ritual sacrifice in the 1500s. The sheer amount of bones was quite the shock. Gabriel Prieto, expert in archaeology at the National University of Trujillo, began excavating in 2011. He and his colleagues were stunned to discover so many skeletons of children especially, most of them between the ages of 6 and 14. Judging by the way the bodies were buried, all their deaths were part of a single choreographed event on one traumatic day. Their mummified bones were uncovered lying on their side, rather than the more commonly seated position and none of them had any offerings buried with them. Some of the older children's faces had been stained with red face paint and were buried wearing ceremonial headdresses. Then each child was surrounded by either one or two young llamas. All the children, boys and girls included, were killed the exact same way. A single slice across the sternum caused them to bleed out and die. As if that weren't bad enough, researchers found evidence that their rib cages were open so that their hearts could be removed immediately after death. It's possible that this even happened while the heart was still beating. The question remains, what happened here? The sacrificial event took place around 1450, when the Chimu ruled the region. The empire flourished from the 11th to the 15th century, but something really bad must have happened towards the end for them to think that their gods were angry with them. Prieto and his team said that there were heavy rains and flooding in the area that could have caused catastrophic damage to the food supply. To stop the rain, they sacrificed their most precious possessions. Number 7. Bodies from World War I Over 100 years after World War I, a tunnel was discovered in France filled with the bodies of 270 German soldiers. These soldiers had been buried alive in the Winterberg Tunnel near the small town of Craon in the north. They were part of the 111th Reserve Infantry Regiment participating in the Second Battle of the Aisne. 
They suffered a miserable death when a French artillery shell detonated on the tunnel. All entrances were closed and the men inside were trapped. They were stuck inside the collapsed tunnel for six days before they were all dead. As the oxygen began to run out, the German soldiers either braved the airless vault and suffocated, killed themselves, or begged their comrades to kill them. Either way, all 270 of the soldiers died in the tunnel. Naturally, French authorities were not that eager to open the tunnel back up, and eventually people just kind of forgot about it. It was finally opened by a pair of amateur historians, a father and son team. Alan and Pierre Malinowski used a mechanical digger at a mysterious site where the pair had found the remains of machine guns, gas mask canisters, and other artifacts from World War I. Instinct told them that this was the legendary tunnel that had been sealed for over 100 years. So they dug through the earth until they finally broke open the tomb. What they found inside was terrifying. The men who had been trapped ever since May 4, 1917 were still in there. The air smelled strongly of death. The pair sealed the tunnel back up and contacted the authorities, who now have been tasked with getting the remains out and back to their home country of Germany. And now for a city beneath a city. But before that, it's shout out time. Big thank you to Among Stories and Ty Regwin for supporting this channel. You guys are the best. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. Number six, the New Orleans Underground. Today, New Orleans might seem like any ordinary above ground city, albeit a little rambunctious. But beneath the surface is a secret trove of archaeological treasures. A lot of it has to do with Storyville, the infamous red light district that operated in New Orleans from between 1897 and 1917. After prostitution was declared illegal, Storyville was forced to shut down. It was at around this time that plumbing was being introduced to Louisiana. People started using indoor plumbing, and so their old, outdated privies in their backyards became dump sites for garbage. Over 100 years later, archaeologists have been finding terrible things underneath Storyville, buried in these ancient toilet dumps. One of the discoveries was a collection of preserved goat jawbones. They were taken from an outhouse pit beneath the French Quarter on St. Peter Street. According to archaeologist Ryan Gray, the goat jawbones were probably left behind by a tailor. Tailors often used goat brains to process and tan their hides. To get to the brain, the tailor had to get the whole goat head. This resulted in plenty of bones being tossed into the backyard dump. Number 5. Ghost Village The village of Old Perithia is located on the island of Corfu in Greece. It was abandoned in the 1960s, and then it became a ghost village. Hidden in the mountains, just far enough away from the coastal beach towns, this ghost village has recently been brought back to life. Old Perithia was founded sometime in the 14th century during the reign of the Byzantine Empire. Today, it's the most ancient village anywhere in Corfu. It was built high up in the mountains, surrounded by forests to be safe from any potential pirate attacks. Back in those days, Pirates frequently pillaged coastal towns, and there wasn't much the people living there could do about it. Old Perithia was built where the pirates couldn't easily reach. Living in the secluded wilderness also helped the people of Old Perithia to avoid diseases that spread along the coast, and they were also safer from mosquitoes. The beginning of the 20th century was when Old Perithia turned into a spooky ghost town. Being secluded was fine before the modern age, but now people were moving to the coast in droves. Eventually, there were only about four people left in the entire village, earning it the title of Abandoned. The good news is that now, Old Perithia is coming back. While it was inconvenient for pirates, it's in a great location for the modern day, and slowly more people are trying to renovate this one spooky ancient place. Number 4. Killed Crusaders Archaeologists have uncovered the mass grave of a group of slayed crusaders in modern Lebanon. In total, 25 men and teenage boys were uncovered at the bottom of a dry moat surrounding the ruined St. Louis Castle in Sidon. Radiocarbon dating shows that they were almost certainly Europeans from between the 11th and 13th centuries. They were Europeans convinced by priests and kings to pick up swords and reconquer the Holy Land. Sadly, most crusaders were amateur fighters and didn't have much experience. Traveling those great distances back in the day would have already been a challenge let alone wearing armor and trying to fight in a far-off place. St. Louis Castle was taken by Europeans during the First Crusade in 1110.
The Crusaders then held on to the strategic point for over a century until two devastating attacks in a row. The Mamluks attacked in 1253, then the Mongols in 1260. According to Richard Mikulski, one of the archaeologists working on the project, the men had probably died during one of these attacks. Richard went on to say that the soldiers were found with wounds primarily on their backs, which means they were probably running away at the time they were killed, and their bodies were dumped into the castle moat and forgotten. Number 3. Spider Mutants Researchers at the University of Wisconsin have used the scientific technique of RNA interference to create the very first spider mutants in the world. This horrifying discovery resulted in scientists creating the first genetically engineered daddy longleg spiders. They first sequenced the entire genome of the daddy longlegs, then used RNA interference to shut off certain genes. They created daddy longleg spiders with unusually short legs. According to Gilherm Gainet, the lead author on the study, they altered two Hox genes, which resulted in a gross malformation of the spider. Instead of being born with the normal long legs that give the spider its name, it had shorter legs, completely changing what the spider is supposed to be. While this might not seem that terrifying, unless you're the spider, it's opened the door to possibilities that are truly scary. Now that scientists know how to genetically create spider mutants, who knows what animals they'll experiment on next and what they might do. This is how all these superhero origin stories start, right? Number 2. Asian Mummies Archaeologists have finally solved a bizarre mystery involving mummies that goes back 4,000 years. About 100 years ago, a small group of mummies were uncovered in China's Taklamakan Desert. At this point, mummies hadn't really been found in China before. For this reason, scientists believed the people must have come from the West, sometime during the Bronze Age. When they moved to China, they brought with them their Mediterranean practices of making mummies. But keep in mind that the discovery was made over a century ago. They didn't really have the technology to properly identify the mummies or look at their DNA. But now, Chinese researchers have finally traced the ancestry of the creepy mummies back to a group of hunters from the Stone Age. These hunters had nothing to do with Europe. In fact, they had been living in Asia for at least 9,000 years. According to the researchers, the mummies belonged to members of the Xiaohe culture. Alison Betts from the University of Sydney says researchers know almost nothing about these people, other than that they were nomadic and apparently were mummifying their dead. Number 1. Siberian Graves In Siberia, archaeologists have uncovered an ancient grave that dates back 2,500 years. This grave holds the remains of four humans from the long-extinct Tagar culture. Two of the individuals appear to have been warriors, a male and a female. The third body belonged to a woman, while the fourth body belonged to an infant. Along with the remains, archaeologists found all kinds of amazing weaponry. They uncovered bronze daggers, war axes, and even battle knives. Plus, they found ancient items better suited to a prehistoric beauty parlor. They found bronze mirrors, fashion equipment, and even fancy combs made from animal horn. It's not clear exactly who these mysterious people were. The Russian Academy of Sciences says they were almost certainly a subculture of the Scythian civilization. They were buried with their weapons and beauty items just in case they needed them in the afterlife. As for how this strange group died, archaeologists say it could have been from illness. The warriors were in their 30s or 40s. The third woman was older, somewhere in her 60s, and the infant was only a few days old. The family may have been stricken by some sort of disease that took them all out overnight. If it wasn't a disease, scientists have no idea what could have led to the deaths of all four individuals simultaneously. The body showed no evidence of violence, and the family of four just seems to have dropped dead at the exact same time. Thanks for watching! Which of these scary discoveries did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!